have a link built so that people don't feel comfortable race work. See, right now, the way the links of the tribe are made and encourage people to drive a little faster because there's nothing. I have it. On both sides of my car, I can go faster. But if I restrict it, what do you do? You go slow because you're afraid. And they're building sidewalks all the way from bridge to connecting here. And all this new construction makes people to go slow. You hear the perception, you see people walking, people go slow. But uh, along those lines, of, I mean, it seems like a 10 foot curbing area seems quite large. That is just for trucks, not I, I understand that, but, but, but sort of the perception of space. The still seems but, like but, but the car, the E3, yeah. the truck doesn't know he's climbing or he's climbing shit. So yeah. the but the car, the well, we'll, we'll, we'll evaluate that. Yeah. 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 We'll, make, we'll make it as small as we, we have to yeah. make it. Well, Ray, let's get questions from people who haven't asked questions. Yeah, I wanted to ask if any provisions were made for pedestrians. My husband gets home on the bus every day and has to cross the circle. And what is it? Is there any change in what are we like? Uh, yeah, there, there is a change in the pedestrian system. So, so you, your husband gets off the bus stop here right, and walks across. So you, today you walk across that painted island. Uh, he, um, with, with these changes, there will be a sidewalk that goes across here in this, in this what we call splitter island. And so this would be about uh, 15 feet wide that you're crossing. You come to an island, which you're protected by curbs on both sides, and another 15 feet. So you're, really, you're crossing a lot less pavement, um, so it's going to seem a lot safer. We've got a lot of uh, brisk feedback here, and we'll continue to get more, but this uh, might be a good time for uh, Ryan or someone else to talk about formal, how people can register formal feedback. I think you have some forms for that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the intent was to have an open discussion, and that's what we're having tonight. Thanks for all your feedback. It's clear that we're going to continue to answer questions and get feedback, but it's probably going to run out of time before everybody's concerns and questions are answered. So the best thing for you to do right now, even if you do get a chance to answer or to ask a question, is to write it down in that comment form that I passed around earlier. Does everybody have a copy of Does everybody have a copy of that comment form? No. No. We're good. We're back. no. Okay, so they got, I got 60 copies, so there should be enough. Somebody's got more in here. So whoever has the large stack, please continue to pass it around. All right. Um, because it's not ending the meeting or anything, but I want you to write these things down so we, if we have it on file, you can send it and we'll get to you. Thank you. We can also, uh, is there any emergency forms? I mean, I experienced people who find tires on the circle or the but listings are now seeing any place where you go. You know, they, they, as an emergency, typically what uh, emergency vehicles, what emergency vehicles do, will come around, and if they have to stop, they will go through the circle and pull off. And um, there's. Now, I'm talking about the common person that has a flat tire at the circle, which you see a lot around here for some reason. Yeah, where do they go? Actually, actually, I saw something break down right here today. Right. And they, and they backed up into the into the bus. Someone pushed them back into the bus. So that, that kind of stuff happens, and you know we you would have to um, you would have to move the vehicle to get it out. But that kind of stuff happens. There's no there's no provisions for a car to pull over. If you did that, you would have what you have today, which is a lot more pavement, and cars would go a lot faster. Right. And the other the second part of that question. Being a member of uh, President Johnson Street all my life, we had a, a couple of fires. And anytime you have an emergency on Johnson Street, the, the fire engine all come up from the wall thing. I don't think they'll be able to make that turn. That's right. true. And also, they come up from this direction? That's correct. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, we could make this mountable so they could go over that. But that's, um, that's, to me, that's a real big concern, not, not having access to come off the street. I mean, you think about how the street is normally one way. That's great. They come one way, and that's right. The fire I understand here. There's one up top. It's a very long street. And if there's anything on the street, anybody's lost, you know, you can't go the other. It's just a very difficult street at that particular juncture with that blocked thing in the middle and that extra grass on the side. It's making, it's going to make our arrival, our, our leaving our houses very, very difficult. It's the longest street in Philadelphia. It is. The longest contiguous block. It's a special case. It's just going to 
be very okay sit in the back your question um, from what I understand you're talking about actually starting the closure approximately spring 2015 could you tell me how you coordinated this shutdown with the upcoming shutdown on Lincoln Drive and when that's scheduled for and how those two are going to work together. We, and then I have a second question after that. No, we, those things will all be scheduled by our traffic unit and city traffic unit. They will not happen at the same time. They will walk through the traffic volumes. Without that, they, they will, nobody will be allowed to shut down anything. Our traffic unit has to get clear for contract to shut it down. Okay. Question from Vermont. Well, I have a follow-up. The, the second question is, set the service. Uh, what arrangements are going to be provided to give SEPTA assistance during the shutdown period to provide shuttle service into this neighborhood uh, so that the senior citizens and disabled people will be able to continue to get public transit during the shutdown? I, last time, so yeah, last time uh, in the last meeting, uh, Senator Brissett representative was here. I don't know that we talked, maybe somebody else is here, Ron, I don't know. We didn't talk about shuttle service for people we are saying along Johnson Street. Would to bring the bus down one lane to the shutdown spot and back again, which is not on their detour route. Well, at least from what I heard from SEPTA last time, and uh, because we had a representative from their last meeting, they would maintain service throughout construction and work with us. So I, I don't know anything outside of that. I don't okay. know another well, we need them to maintain service all the way to Want Lane and Johnson Street during that time. Right. And like because I said, we have many senior citizens. Yeah, like I said, they, they said they maintain service, but I know. Yeah, what they said the detour was was to go down with Second Avenue, which is that the detour route that you're going to be posting? That is what we will post on the road. Yes, but and that's what SEPTA said, said they would be following at the, at the last meeting. If SEPTA prefers another route, they will tell us we will post. For them, they can go on their own route. But they we need to have road. service into this neighborhood for our senior citizens and disabled people. Yeah, they said I they think did. the last I meeting, Wendy acknowledged that, that was the first time she had heard of that complaint. Okay. And, and it's really, you know, Seth is pretty responsive to those sort of requests. If they can make the turns, and I don't see why they couldn't. All right, if, if they could do that. Also, will there be money to provide uh, uh, overtime or extra service from traffic or other police department officers to direct traffic through the detour period during the rush hour periods, just like you did during the uh, Lincoln Drive uh, closure at, uh, around Main Street? Usually those things will be evaluated by the traffic unit if it is necessary. They'll retime the signals. If the police is needed, they will ask the police to work during those peak hours. But during the Lincoln Drive shutdown, it was PennDOT who paid for those services. Uh, well, drive at the, you, you, uh, when when the Lincoln district. Drive was closed and the traffic was diverted onto the surface. Because the volumes were necessary. That's also, I also right, we also have a great deal of volumes here as well. If it is necessary, we will provide... Well, how will we determine whether it's necessary or not? So. Our traffic approval, that's what they will look at. Traffic, that's a state function or a city State function? and city both. They look at how, what happens when they close this road, how the people will travel. What kind of uh, travel conditions that will occur? They will try to return the signals. They will try to police the intersections. Yeah. And when will we get this information about the numbers and the proposed support during the shutdown? And the most, see, the, a lot of people think it is a map that I have on my fingertips. It is people's behavior that is unpredictable. Once, once the road closes, due to something, whatever it may be, people take their own way of going places. I can find the signal thinking that people will be using here, but they might be using somewhere else. So all these things is dynamic, it happens after the events. You have to say, you have to trust the city traffic unit and find that traffic unit. It worked great in Gustine Lake, it'll work great here. But if it worked we could great in Lake, we could build this one. It worked really great because they provided police support during no, rush hours. Because we talked through everything. And they put in a new traffic light, and all that was done before the closure. Yeah, yeah, but you have to agree that we did think through all those things. They were right. designed, we did not build them after the fact. No, you we built, built them, them before. That's all I'm asking. You've, you've mentioned what you're going to do from Walnut Lane and going around from the bridge. 
Are, is there going to be a change on the sidewalk from Park Line Drive to the circle? There's no sidewalk really there now. On the north side, um, that comes around. This shows the sidewalk. Uh, I'm wondering area. if they're going to change it. Yeah. Because there's no uh, real sidewalk now. There will be new sidewalks. No, 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 not there. that side. The side, the north side, which is the side of Johnson Street, correct. Yeah. So when you come around now, if you're, well, I walk there in the evening because, well, whatever. Um, so when you walk around, you have to walk into the street because the sidewalk is kind of overrun with, with stuff. And you're walking, of course, with the traffic. So, it, you know, you're walking toward the traffic so they see you, but it's still not. If you're going to change it, can you do something with it? I it's guess mine. we would. I mean, we're we're really about ten percent into the design here, so I don't want to oh, misrepresent. Okay. But, okay. but my my oh. thought is that within within the area of this green, that would be all new sidewalk because we're going to be you know disturbing. Okay. Things. So I my my guess is that all this all this area in here that would all be new sidewalk. All that the as you uh, mentioned to me okay. earlier yeah. that uh, a lot of the sidewalk is in the hands of the city to control the city particularly the very broken up pieces of sidewalk, dangerously so, uh, that approach the bridge from both sides, the side in, in this drawing and the side on the golf course side. Very uh, uh, impassable sidewalks. And you told me that that's a city issue that is not going to be addressed in this? We are building within the project limits from where we start on the bridge, on the other side of the bridge, the bridge, all the way to the circle, all the work we are doing within the circle around the uh, roads intersecting the circle, mm -hmm. we'll be building sidewalk within the project limit. I can't send the contract to build sidewalk on the city of I'm going to stop there, I'm going to stop. What's the distance between the circle and the, what's